Hi, this is Brian from Military Mobility. We provide off-road expeditions and training to veterans and civilians. Today, we're going to do an initial test on our donated Land Rover LR3 on Lower Fins and Things in beautiful Moab, Utah. This particular rig is outfitted with the stock air suspension, which we repaired for around $500, donated 3.0 Johnson rods, the GAP programming tool, and 32 inch Goodyear Door Trek tires. Come around, see what she's got here. We also have a backup system, so if the air suspension happens to fail, we won't get stuck on the trail. But more on that in another video. All of our rigs are driven by veterans at our multi day courses. Most of the vehicles are older, they've been beaten up, but they're proven, a lot like our warriors that drive them. We concentrate on vehicle preservation, proper driving skills, and backcountry knowledge, which is a metaphor for the health and wellness we all need to allow ourselves in order to have fun, healthy, and productive lives. If you're a veteran in need, please contact us, we can help. Okay, sit back, relax, and enjoy a Moab Overland experience in the LR3. magic of this traction control system for it to kick in the wheels actually need to to slip just a little bit first sometimes you actually want to create the tiniest amount of wheel spin and then the computers pick up on it and uh, we'll kind of kick in the gear One thing I will give this truck is how incredibly smooth it is. I mean, this is like butter. <laughs> Not getting thrown around at all. Very measured and controlled. This is a great example of the traction control where we need to get it to slip a little bit and then it'll just kick in the gear and climb up. Hey, can you like really spot me? I, I just can't tell what's ahead. You might want to take it straight, maybe like five feet and then cut, just because that rut. I think we're hanging in it, right? Yeah, your wheel's hanging off. That's cool. Pretty legit. Dude, that thing seemed like it was hanging. Dude, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I've learned to just get along with the grinds and grumbles and noises this thing makes. Just has a mind of its own, kind of let it do its thing. Much different than the Jeep where I you know, I know every single thing that's going on. This is, have a lot of faith and confidence that it knows what it's doing. Um, let's actually let's scout this out for a sec. So, um, taking a look, obviously we can see that, you know, it's been taking a, a beating here. Some, some things have scraped, uh, you know, the safer bets to go right here. I, I really want to put our departure angle to the test, uh, and see how that can do. So 
I think what we're gonna do is uh, head off right here. Um, I'll look to plant my, uh, my left tire right there um, and come down. So this is, this is around the steepest part, this angle right here. Um, and, and I really wanna test out and see how that, that hitch that we have is, is doing, that protecting the, uh, the bumper as well as how much clearance it's given us. All right. All right. So it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do, protected it. Overall, I'm, I'm very pleased. And the one thing, and you've driven in a lot of these trucks, Aaron, is how much you just get rattled around. Like, take a look at this boulder field coming up here. You know, normally that's gonna bounce the crap out of you, and I'm sure we are gonna get some sway. I'll just go through it in no particular fashion. It's just not that bad. All right, you think we can do the rocks here? I think so. Yeah, let's go for it. Big and then it goes. Amazing, really amazing. People can talk to all the smack they want, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, that was pretty gnarly. I really wonder when the comparison comes with the coil springs. Is yeah. Like, this thing is performing admirably. Now you, you still retain some of uh, the terrain system response you, you, with the dial, um, but you, you don't get some of the um, left to right uh, characteristics that you would from the air suspension. That's why I've really received a lot of encouragement from people to, to fix the air suspension uh, rather than go to coils right away. So right here we have two lanes of departure. This first one is very steep. Coming down, taking a look at the line. There's three options here. This one's gonna be the most reasonable for us. Still pretty steep. Not concerned about the trees at all. Right there, all right, let's, uh, let's do this. Get my trusty steed. And bring it down the first gear. And we're low. Our nice wide turn up top. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Too smooth. All right, man, easy day. I'm incredibly impressed with this. 
It looked a lot steeper before you did it. Now it doesn't look steep at all. <laughs> I wonder if we should try to take on the other one. That's pretty darn steep. I don't know about climbing. What do you think? You think it'll climb it? It either will or it won't, but I don't think it'll tip. All right, let's see. Okay, we walk up. I'll bring it down. We looking good? Oh yeah. All right. All right. Now I'll tell you, I, I, I've never attempted that in RTJ, uh, probably because the shorter wheelbase, 96 inches. This has 113 inch wheelbase, and man, does it breed confidence. And it didn't even slip. I, I haven't even lowered air pressure on the tires right now. <laughs> this is straight mall crawler. <laughs> dude, dude, yeah. Just tackling fins and things, no problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Junior. Yeah. Man. Surfing, fins and yeah. Yeah, right? This is a perfect trail for this break this trucking on. We gotta send this to him because he's gonna love it and be the surfer and this thing called fins and things. Here, even the sand dunes. Gonna get some like it. Yeah. Gonna rip through it maybe? Very smooth. See, oh, it's speed. Look at this. This is incredible. Yes. This is incredible. Some of our other vehicles, you couldn't, we couldn't get away with that, you know? They're very capable, but they're not as smooth as this. And we have some nice shock setups, too. Definitely feel like a surfer now. <laughs> I'm gonna switch it over to uh, sand, since that's what we're in. See if it changes anything driving dynamics. Alright, yeah, I did feel the, uh, the gearing change a bit. It's, uh, it's, it's revving a bit more. A little more torquey. Okay. <laughs> All right. I took it out of first gear. It's a nice little section. You know, as your confidence builds of driving with this vehicle, just the, you know, the ability to start self-spotting like this right here. That's actually pretty, uh, that's, this might be a cool shot. Let's 
see how the departure angle goes. Oh. Very nice. It felt like it just like skidded off that one. Thoroughly impressed. Oh, check this turn out. Wow, that was cool. That looks like there might be another one coming. Now, usually I am very much uh, the kind of person that wants to be in control of every single thing that I'm, I'm doing. You know, this, I'm just kind of setting it, and it's kind of fun to see if I can sense what the computers are doing. Like right here, see how it's controlling the braking. I'm not doing that. It's a pretty intelligent system, very capable. We gotta take the tough way. <laughs> what tough way? Yeah, right? It does make me curious about how capable the new Defender would be if, you know, this 2008 uh, is doing so great. Okay, let's see. We're here. I think this maybe is just like a little shh. Shortcut. Continue on for a little bit more. Ooh, that looks tempting. Yeah. That's pretty challenging. Oh yeah. Let's take a look at that. Alternate route. All right. I don't know, what do you think? You think this is gonna meet its match? This is pretty steep. Yeah, so put the right tire up here. Keep coming. That's gonna be a, a scramble. Pretty straightforward after that. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right. Now, this is pretty steep, just to give you an idea here. Yeah. Woo. Steep and slick. <laughs> All right. Slick rock. <laughs> We're in low gear. We're gonna move this over to rock crawl. Our height is up uh, extended mode. And I'm down in first gear. And here we go. Looks like I'm driving up to a wall. I can't see anything else but sky. And she's starting, she's climbing. She's climbing. She's climbing. She's climbing. She's climbing. All right. Wow. Wow. I am sorry. This truck is awesome. Well, you know, we're gonna have to look at the map here and pick out something tougher for the next trail. And 
you know, another thing, we're on 32 inch tires. It's not 40s and, or, you know, 37s or anything huge, not even 35s, 32 inch tires. So I hand it to the air suspension for knowing what's what, um, for giving us all this extra clearance when we need it. We, our bottom hasn't scraped once. So on this entire trail, fins and things, we did hit the rear once. Uh, it was about the last quarter inch that it hit of the, uh, of, of the hitch, right? And I think if that hitch wasn't even there, if we had the, the stock plastic bumper, it would have cleared. I don't mind having that on there right now for the, the extra protection in case we get to a point um, where you know it might want to rip off that the plastic because we don't want to pay three thousand dollars and add the weight of a heavy steel rear bumper well, that's an interesting section right here take it nice and smooth You know, I love my, uh, my manual, but this is also kind of fun uh, with the automatic. And you know, this 113-inch this, uh, wheelbase is not too hard to manage. The new Jeep Wrangler JL is longer. I think it's 115-inch wheelbase, so I'll have to check on that. So what I'm really interested to see here is this deep pocket. Uh, and to see how the wheelbase handles this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pick one of the more aggressive lines on it. So how's she doing on the breakover angle? It's looking okay on the breakover? Doing okay on the clearance so far. Yeah, you got a couple inches easy day. Nice. But that's a pretty challenging section right there. So you know what that is, if, you, if you're hearing this grinding with us, it's uh, right here, it's the descent control. Um, and it's been helpful in our other Land Rover, you know, it, it'll kick in automatically when it senses. So it's HDC, hill, uh, hill descent control. It feels like the brakes are grinding a bit automatically and it's helping control that descent. Sometimes I'll just turn it off and, and control it myself. It does feel like you're just surfing over these little sections of sand. You know, when we're done, we can put on a tuxedo and go to some kind of fancy event. <laughs> and you know, I, I wonder if that is some of the, the trade-off. So, you know, it's this is silky smooth, Magnificent, very impressive in what we're doing. And you have to keep in mind, you know, what's your application for this? Daily driver? Absolutely. Carry seven people, heated leather seats, front and rear, which is nice, especially in the winter time for the kids. Tons of cargo space, big commanding view for full-size people, towing 7,700 pounds. Absolutely horrible on gas mileage. 
Uh, I think it's, it's rated uh, 12 city, 17 highway, and they give it a 15 combined average, however that works out. This is worse than our Jeeps on gas mileage. You don't buy these types of things for that. I get around the same range as the Jeep. This is a 22 gallon tank. My Jeeps are a 20 gallon tank. Um, they both end up getting around 250 miles per tank. You know, before the light comes on, I, I need to, to fill up. So it's really, it's, it's, a, it's a wash, it's all around the same. Plenty of power, it's working well. So, you know, this, this trail is a difficulty of, of four, and we're going through some pretty, you know, challenging sections here. Uh, and, I, and I wonder, we'll look for some, we'll, we're gonna check it out on a five and a six, and we'll see where the limits are for that, because it, it will have them, um, which is where something like a, a Jeep might shine, where, yeah, you might get bounced around a little bit more, but it's gonna become more capable as you wanna go through rougher and more aggressive terrain. But I think the verdict is clear. If you're looking for a, you know, kind of one size fits all and very capable vehicle that can get you on some adventures, this is a really great option. We're back on the, the main road here. So that was, that was fins and things. At least the lower half. What setting is it for the hard pack? Right now, oh yeah, you know, that's a, that's a good point. We don't need to be in this, uh, let's, let's, Let's just see how this does on, on gravel roads. So we're gonna go, we don't need to be in, in low anymore. So we're gonna go to, to high and bring it just back to uh, terrain response. Special programs off is what that is. And we're gonna lower it down just to our mid-range height. There we go. Yeah, immediately a little bit more uh, torque. You know, one interesting feature we're, we're checking out right now, we're driving our F450 over this washboard and it's shaking a good bit here, but it was uncontrollable uh, with the F450. This is not having an issue with it. All right, so I think that was a successful day on the trail. Hope, hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time.